Hello, fish of the world. We are back for another episode of Fished and my favorite game, and hopefully yours too. Uh, last time we were here, we were working on some cars. We did some automotive work in our shop. We're running out of parts, but we did check out new custom seats. We have our parts desk here now, so maybe we'll go have a look around town to see if there's any vehicles available. We will leave our truck here so we don't get double vehicled. Um, just reading some reviews on Steam, I just want to say thanks to the people who did take the time to give us a review. Good or bad, we do appreciate you taking the time to tell us how you feel about the game. Obviously, good being better. <laughs> but thank you guys. If you haven't made a review and you're thinking about it, uh, yeah, we would love to have your review up there. To help other people find this wonderful game. And we found a car. It looks like a coupe. So let's check this out. We should be able to tow it right to our new auto shop for the ease of working on it on site. So it'll go to our second lift, which is just perfect for it's not in the way of us doing work for other people. And again, if I didn't mention, I think I did. I was gambling a bit, so you'll notice my money's a bit different. I made up a commercial for Fishton. Shit, 10. And I had to do some, uh, well, I don't have a trailer hitch, do I? Had to do some gambling for the commercial and I ended up winning, so that's where that came from. Just for your up to date. Um, okay, let's go check out over here. We'll go to Grandma's Sandy Storage and we're gonna pick up a trailer and we also need to get a hitch. We're gonna collect some parts and we're gonna bring them all back to our new automotive shop to work on them. And at some point I'm gonna go sell this truck and we're gonna go build a car instead. But for now, let's just do this. We might go racing, we'll see what happens. We'll see how much time we have as I peek at the clock. So let's get our hitch on first where we don't have any issues. There we go. Just a generic trailer hitch. There we go. And let's get ourselves a trailer. We'll take our big logging trailer. I just like the size of it, it's a little easier. And if you've never used a trailer in this game, super easy. Try to ooh, try to straighten yourself out as best as you can. And then just back into it. When you think you got it right directly in the middle, in the middle as much as you can. Try to get your hitch as long, much lined up as you can. The more even you put it on, the easier it'll be to pull it. Mine's a little bit off to the side, so we're going to have a bit of problems, but it'll be all right. Now this is the biggest, heaviest trailer, so it does start to get hard to pull after a while. We have made some engine changes lately, so if you can't pull it, you probably need to get a bigger engine and put it in your vehicle. I haven't ran into that, but it may be a thing. Here comes the easy part, collecting parts. Super easy, super fast. What I usually do is fill up the trailer with uh, an immense amount of parts and stuff. And then I go put it where I want it and I sell it. It's just easier than unloading the trailer, but it does cost you about 500 bucks. But my laziness pays for it, so I'm gonna just probably do that because that's what I do. All right, let's move up to the other one. We'll grab these though. And as you can see, just grab as many parts as you can. For automotive jobs, there's no real wrong or right usually, so there's gonna be lots of different jobs. So we'll just grab everything and use what we can. And we also have our sedan sitting there waiting to be built as well so we can throw any extra sedan parts we find on there start using the extra bay as an extra car bay for us now, collecting parts can be a little uh, tedious it takes a little bit but someone was saying in their reviews that's the beauty of this game is that if you get bored with one thing you can kind of move on to the other find something new there's lots of stuff to do in Fishton and uh, Lots of ways to do it. But if you're new to Fishton, I want to welcome you for joining, or welcome you and tell you thanks for joining us. We're really glad that more people are playing again lately. Seems to be a lot new, uh, more new people coming in, so we're really happy about that. Really glad to see that. We appreciate everybody who comes and checks us out. We are a husband and wife team. We work very, very hard on our games. For you guys can have a good time and that's the biggest thing to us is to make sure everybody's enjoying and having a fun time 
So if you've got anything that you don't like or feedback, make sure you let us know. You can join the disc or there is no Discord anymore. Sorry, the discussion page on Steam, or you can leave me a comment here on uh, YouTube about what you think. And we got just about everything we could probably think to need, but let's just keep going a little bit. Want to get a lot of parts, and the trailer's gonna get harder to pull as the more and more you load it up. So keep that in mind. Probably getting pretty heavy by now. We're gonna keep going. See if we can get some more parts, and then we're gonna pack it in where we need it and destroy the trailer by selling it. Somebody hanging out back there. I wonder what they're up to. Oh, oh! And as you can see, the trailer makes the car somewhat hard to drive sometimes. So as you load up, it's just gonna get harder and harder, so keep that in mind. If it's too hard for you to drive, go unload. And you can hand bomb it and keep your trailer too. I just, I don't really like them kicking around. They tend to roll around a little bit on their own, and I don't really like that. Oh, you know what we're gonna do for our sedan? We're gonna order custom seats for that baby. We're gonna start doing up our cars custom. All these junk parts we're just gonna sell. All right, got so many already. Oh, and you can see this one's on an angle. It's kind of damaged. So if you see that, you might want to do, you can always sand it up. I didn't mean to do that though. I meant to pull out my hammer. Just fix it for that way when you put it in your trailer, you don't break it. You make sure it makes it home alive. It'll take it to 100%. All right, let's go up there, There's some more parts. This might be just a part run episode, a quick one today. I do like working on cars uh, quite a bit, as you can probably guess. That's what most of our videos have been. But I do want to get the, um, what is that? There's a computer on the road. I do oh, want to get um, our store back. I had to sell it to get our automotive factory, but I did not come up with the money for that. And I would also like to build a house. Like, I have seen Queen build some beautiful beautiful houses and I never really have. I haven't really spent a lot of time on housing. I always kind of leave it for last. So I wouldn't mind setting up a nice house, maybe putting some gardens out back and they can start paying us some money. That would probably be nice. All right. And as you can see, we got so many parts now. It's going to really help our automotive shop. We just got to hope we have the right parts that it calls for. We should be able to put together our sedan mostly as well. There's another seat. And one more thing I'll point out too is, if you don't know, these little bins over here, you can go up to them and give them a little search. And they're with a the right click, boom. You got some bags of chips. I'm a little hungry and thirsty, so let's mm, mm, mm. do them now. We're going to need a nap pretty soon too. All right, so we got those parts. Doing pretty good. We've cleaned just about everywhere out already. The trailer is really heavy and riding really rough. I think we can get a bit more in, but that's the shop we need to buy back there. As you can see, there's quite a few parts still there too, but we don't own it anymore as of yet. But we will get there. We just need to get, oh, oh no. Oh no, our trailer. It's jackknife and it's just too heavy to keep straight. Oh, I'm not missing these parts though. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a wolf. And as you know, you can probably uh probably figure it out by now you can kill wolves with either your chainsaw or your axe. And, uh, yeah, you can collect the meat and sell that up, too, just as an extra commodity, if you like. I don't like collecting too much meat. It tends to start to take over after a while. There are so many parts back here. It's probably good we clean these up, too, anyways. We don't want too many parts sitting in one spot and cause issues and glitches and problems. With our new spawn system, it shouldn't really happen, but if you've got a really old game and you've had things sitting in those piles for a while, they'll probably still be there. 
All right. So many parts, man, oh man. Should have everything we need though, I don't know. Specifically, but I think we got just about everything we need. We got engines. Well, I won't even, I can't even get that in there. <laughs> get in there. There we go. Oh my god, there's so many parts that are starting to fall out. Ooh, need that. Let's fix it. Sedan trunk. That's something you don't see all the time. So the way the parts spawn in this game is um, the cheapest vehicles tend to be the parts you find the most because that would be the most uh, likely parts to be dumped in a forest or something like that. And we're definitely not trying to tell you to dump parts. Hmm. Can't fix that door for some reason. It won't let me. I don't know why. I don't know why. Let's just leave that one. I don't know what's going on there. This might be one of those issues I was talking about sometimes happen when you leave piles of stuff piled up like that. We'll probably recycle it or something. Maybe we'll take it with us and recycle it. Just get rid of it. And that's part of the reason we changed the um, way that things spawn a bit, so it's not so heavy on the resources, and it should avoid issues. So if you've got a fresh game, you're probably not going to run into this at all, but if you've got an old game that you've been riding out for a long time, you might see it. Go pick up those parts, get rid of them, and it should clear anything you're having up. Oh my god. We are so heavy. Are we going to make this turn? I do not know how I made that turn. I'm full tilt here. I don't think I've had a trailer loaded up this much before. Come on, baby. We can do this. Don't spin out. Don't spin out. It's, oh my god, spin it out. Hang in there. Hang in there. We're almost there. Okay, let's take a shortcut, maybe. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Yeah, baby. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I'm not going to make this turn, am I? Uh, I got an idea. Maybe if we go push our trailer around a little bit. Yeah, maybe we can do this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. We're almost there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Perfect. Oh, my God. We're running stuff over. We made it. Look at that trailer. It's so freaking unstable right now. All right. Let's just sell it. We lost 500 bucks, but we're gonna make more than that back in part money, don't you worry. Got quite the heap. I would've unloaded it, but I'm also making a video. I don't wanna be taking an hour unloading. We just loaded for an hour straight. So, that's probably it for the day. I'm probably just gonna call it a video. Make sure you thumbs up the video if you can. It really does make a difference. Uh, helps other people find the videos, helps them learn all about Fishton, and then we can all talk and share and hang out together. Review the game if you haven't. If you want to and you'd like to tell us how you feel, if you're enjoying it or not, let us know. And uh, take the time to give us a review or let us know in the comments what you're thinking. We always depend on people's feedback. This is uh, a game we've helped or uh, that the community's really helped develop. So we really care about what you guys say and it does make a difference in game when you give us uh, your feedback. You never know, it might be a change that other people have suggested or something like that. It might make it more likely that we actually make the changes that you suggested. Ooh, I forgot about our sedan. So make sure you get a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you get a comment in, let us know what you're thinking, what you'd like to see, maybe what you'd like to see in the next videos if you're having troubles with something. One thing I will throw in today that most people forget about 
is there is a laundry system in Fishton. Did you know that? Did you know there's laundry? Well, you can use the, the, the try and wash coin laundry here, or you can also go, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's wash our stuff. Oh, it's not working. Let's, well, that's a dryer. That's why we probably got to go to a washer first. There we go. You can wash your stuff and it'll give you a clean bonus, which will help you stay clean longer. Your clothes will, will, won't will be so dirty so fast. And there we go. And you see it go blue. We now have a dirty buff. So we will get dirty a lot less and a lot less frequently. And it only costs us two bucks really. So that's a pretty good deal. You can get a washer for your house. There is quite a bit to the house life that people don't really look into. You can have computers, you can do all kinds of stuff and um, gardens and all kinds of things that people usually forget. So we're going to start focusing on the forgotten halves of, of Fishton, the little tiny things that make this game so great. So hopefully you'll join me next time. If you got any ideas, if you got anything like that, let me know, of course, and we'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.